topology here any number of computers you can connect I am taking only two here now here I will use like 192.168.12.1 this site we will use 192.168.12.2/24 and this site we will use 192.168.1.1/24 and this site we will use 192.168.2.1/24 here this will be the R1 this will be the R2 and you can see here this I can say switch 1 this is switch 2 and now we can do the configuration here so we will write here OSPF basic lab R1 configuration so like enable config t host name R1 and IP IP is compulsory you need to do all this IP address this one I am going to assign here this one 192.168.12.1 1.1 give space 255.255.255.0 and write no shirt here then you have interface f0 by 1 put here IP address 192.168.12.1 give space 255.255.255.0 and write no shirt here this one already you know this right so now new thing is router OSPF and here process ID you can give anything so I am writing one here see here I will copy this from here to here I will paste this inside this router I pasted here see if I am doing the OSPF see router OSPF and press question mark this is a process ID you can give any number starting from 1 till 65535 you can give any number here that one we are calling as a process ID I give one here after that you write network and network ID what is the network ID of this one you, you remember how to calculate the network ID can you tell me network ID of this one yes and the wildcard mass and then we are using area 0 so I wrote area 0 any area we can use now I am using the default area area 0 so I am putting that interface in area 0 this is OSP of configuration copy this and paste here and here you will do this is the R2 enable config T host name R2 and interface F0 by 0 you will write IP address 192.168.12.2 not 12 this one yeah 
then interface F0 by 1 IP address yeah this one yeah then you will write router OSPF1 network yeah same one means you need to calculate the network id this one what is the network id of that one 192.168.12.0 .0. then 0.0.0.2 .0 .0 255 after that area 0 then again network 192.168.2.0 then area 0 clear clear right ok so I will copy this I will paste this in the R2 ok so I put here you see everything is ok no issue so we can uh, save or we can check also you can save here if you remember we are checking the routing table before by writing show IP route you can write same thing and you see still you did not have anything you should have something O so we need to wait for some time and check if it is not coming we need to do the troubleshooting maybe we do something misconfiguration that's why it is not coming so still if you see it is not coming you need to do fast forward and then again check here because it will take time in the real world you need to wait for some time when I do fast forward it came fast but in real world see now you are having O O stand for OSPF so you are getting this route if anyone want to go to this network you are here if anyone want to go to 2.0 here then we need to send the traffic here to 12.2 so you can see if anyone want this one this route learn from OSPF and if anyone want to go to this network we need to send here and this is the AD value and this is a metric metric is nothing but cos cos is 2 here a number how the number 2 is coming we will see this later and this is a next hop and this much the time this route is up and you can see this is our living interface this interface living interface this is a routing table we will say after that you have show IP OSPF neighbor this is the neighbor table you have three table here first is the routing table second one is a neighbor table so you will write show IP OSPF neighbor so you will get neighbor information neighbor of R1 is R2 so you can see this is a neighbor ID so neighbor router ID this one this is the neighbor IP this uh, router 